What's up guys, Jeff from Texas Moto Works and this, this is the current state of affairs. What have we got going on today? Well, <laughs> this bike, I love you, but you're always gonna give me issues. Had a little weird issue where the, um, the 80s brake light actuator or switch, if you will, uh, it's, it's pretty archaic. It's a little piece that bolts underneath the brake lever on the master cylinder and it's two little terminals and then there's a piece that fits inside the brake lever and a little piece of copper on that when you pull the brake it touches those terminals not the greatest design this one's worn out so when I would pull the brake the front brake it would blow out the fuse for the for the neutral light so what I'm going to do I found a double gang or a uh, not a double gang a double what's the word I'm looking for I'll get back to you on that later uh, a double for right here that's a brake light switch so it just threads in double banjo sorry age uh, and then those two wires will go and connect to the I'll have to cut that off but I'm going to save the the stock switch just because they're kind of hard to come by and some bikes I'm going to see if I can somehow insulate the two terminals so that they don't they don't touch it's where the wire comes into the switch and they are they're touching. Anyway, see if I can save that. So that's that. I'm going to sync the carbs on the ST1100 today. Got everything else done on it. I got the new, new, well, new to me, uh, right side panel, threw away the one that was broken. And I got to sync the carbs and check the mixture screws on it. And then she's a done deal. I polished out the pipes. That's a little trick that I do. If you guys are interested in how to do that, it's pretty simple. There is a clear coat on them, so you have to get the clear coat off. But I've got the magic potion that gets them off, and then you can polish them like aluminum. Nice look. I'm gonna polish up the bags, put the bags back on it. The concourse, I got to go, I've got a weird issue with this bike going on right now where it's, it's hunting um, when it's idling and it's got kind of a weird off idle bog, and then it goes away and it, kicks in like there's a turbo so I've got some kind of starvation issue going on fuel wise I got to check that I'm suspecting maybe it's the inline filter um, I might have to pull the carbs back but other, other than that this bike I mean this bike has been a long long road so that's kind of the last stage for it and then the Harley I found the color I want to paint it now granted this is a neat color but do you ever want to figure out how many burgundy Harleys there are out there? Go and paint one. <laughs> It'll come blazingly clear how many burgundy Harleys there are. And I kind of thought this was going to look different. Anyway, I found the color. If you were following Meekum at the start of the year, you saw the 1974 Kawasaki H, uh, H2, I'm sorry, Z2. Uh, that was a big old controversy, but I was watching that and I was realizing that that bike is just an amazing color So I found the color my friends in England can make it They're They're making it for me I think it's already shipped and then I'm gonna take off I'm not gonna do a front fender on this bike. The one that I have looks goofy so I'm gonna take the uh, Tank which is two pieces and the fender take it over to Jason small have him produce his magic on it. I think it'll be a really, really neat look for that bike. So that's my day, guys. How's yours going? All right. Thanks for watching. Take care.